Hello there. In this video, I'm going to create a seamless texture using Apache and Dolly 2. So I'll begin here in Dolly 2. Let's see, how about a lava texture with dark patches and glowing orange veins. All right, let's try that. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's see. A couple of good ones. I like this one here, probably more realistic looking one. Uh, so I will load that and upload initial image, patchy. Now, um, to expand it a little further faster, instead of doing the uh, half of the image being overlapped here, I'm going to go into settings and decrease that overlap. Instead of 512 pixels, let's make it 350 pixels. All right, so now only about a third of each new image will be overlapped with the previous image. So let's download that partial image. Back up here. Upload an image, load the partial image from Patchy, edit it. We have to erase a little bit of the transparent area just so that Dolly 2 will know that there is a transparent area. Generate. Very good. Decent. Let's go with this one here. Download that. Upload the completion image. Apache. Do the next one. Download the partial image. Head back into Dolly. Upload this new partial image. Erase a bit. Copy in the prompt and generate. Looks good. Bring this into Apache. Good. Now let's do the corner here. The partial image. Prompt. Nice. Like that. Upload in Apache. And shall we extend it a little further? Make a larger square here. It's pretty complex texture. We don't want it to be obviously repeating. Partial Apache, place a bit, place that prompt in. Right. 
Nice. Ali? Application image. Apache. Get the corner, download the partial image. Go get rid of that texture and upload the new partial image. Edit, erase a bit. Let's do the prompt. That's nice. Put this one here. Download it. Completion image. Yeah. Now we'll try this side here. Explain that a bit. Like partial. Bring in the dolly. Edit it. Paste in the prompt and check. Nice. Go with this here. Turn on that. Upload completion in Apache. Good. Now we get these two corners left. Download partial image. Back. Upload image. Upload the new partial image. Edit it, erase a bit, paste in the same prompt, check it. Hmm. Got some nice choices here. That. Load patchy. Good. Download the partial image for our final corner. Load it to the valley. Erase a bit. Paste in the prompt. Enter. Big, thanks. Okay. Upload completion image and dolly. Load Apache. Okay, so now we have a good size texture here in Apache. It's a three by three grid of dolly images with some overlap between them. Um, and of course, we can go on to make this as large as we want to. Uh, as we keep expanding out, it'll give us more slots to fill in here, and we could make it as big as we'd like. Um, but I'll stop here as far as expanding it. Uh, but it's not yet seamless, so how do we make it seamless in Patchy? Well, go to the menu here, Add Horizontally Seamless Column. So what this does is add a slot for each row here. So three new slots where you can put images. Um, and it includes the right edge of the image that we've created so far. And over here, it includes the left edge of the image that it copies over to here. So that when you output the partial image that looks like this, Dolly will be able to fill in just this center area. And then when you output the final image, it'll just output what's in this blue bounding box here. So this area here that, that Dolly needed to fill in with uh, will not be output as part of the final image. Anyway, so it works just like the others. We download the partial image. And then we bring it into 
Dali. Upload it, edit, erase a little bit, paste in our prompt, and generate. Okay, we've got a few nice completions here. As you see, Dolly 2 nicely filled in the area, uh, connecting what will end up being the two sides of, of the final image. So we download that, upload it into Patchy. We go on to our next one, download partial image. Upload it into Dolly 2, edit, erase a little bit, paste in our prompt, and generate. Very good. Choose one of these, save it. Upload completion image. And then download the next partial image. Back to Dolly 2, upload, edit, erase, put in the prompt, and generate. Nice. Pick one of these, save it, upload completion image into Apache. All right, we're all done now as far as horizontally seamless goes. If we were to download the image now, it would download what's within this blue bounding box here. And we see how this vein here ends there, continues over here. Horizontally, this, is a, this would be a seamless image now. Vertically, not yet. So separately, if we want to make it vertically, Seamless, we go to the menu, add vertically seamless row. Same idea. We can start on, start on either end. Download partial image. Upload that into Dolly. Edit, erase a bit, and put in the prompt. Choose one of these, download it, back to Apache, upload completion image. Next, partial image, download. Upload the partial image into Dali. Edit, erase, copy in the prompt, and generate. Good ones. Save one of these. Upload completion image in Apache. And then download the next partial image. Upload it into Dolly. Put in the prompt and generate. Nice. Save one of these. Upload completion image. Now we're down to our last partial image. Download that. Upload it into Dolly. Hit edit, erase a little bit, paste in your prompt, and hit generate. OK. Pick one of these, save it, 
Go back to Patchy, upload the completion image. There we have it. So now we have an image that once we output it, it'll just output what's in these blue lines again. And that should be both vertically and horizontally seamless. So let's download the image. And here it is. Now, how can we tell if it's seamless? Well, there's a tool that I use at this URL here, and it makes it easy. Just upload file. Say I want to make a three by three grid from it, and uh, just hit OK. So now we can download the processed image or just open it. So this is the seamless texture we just created, arranged as a 3x3 three three grid. And we can see that it is, in fact, seamless. That's all. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.